Hello my friends, I'm White Spice and welcome to episode 1 of the first gaming series on my channel. This is Minecraft but I've installed a few mods to spice things up and also because Minecraft has such a big spot on YouTube and it's hard to get noticed, I've decided to use some unique mods. So this is the Spider Queen mod with a few other mods thrown in just for entertainment like Tinker's Construct. But essentially the Spider Queen mod puts you in the place of a Spider Queen and you poop string. Uh, but essentially the gist of it is to cocoon mobs and you can hatch your own spiderlings and basically build an army of spiders. So we're going to get started. I just want to flick down the sounds a bit because that spider walking is going to get annoying soon. And sorry if the commentary is not super awesome because it's a very hot year. Summer, getting rounds of 30 degrees every day. And I'm sweating like a pig and I have hay fever for the most part. So that can always be an issue. But I just want to sit back and have a relaxed time, make this video, you know, just play some Minecraft and do it with YouTube. Because I've been enjoying doing the top 10 videos, but I don't feel that they're really interactive enough. It's just one of those things where you watch it, you learn facts, there's nothing really unique about it, if you think. So I thought I'd throw some gaming in here as well, just to keep things a bit interactive with the viewers and entertaining for me. But for those of you who don't know who I am, which is probably all of you because I haven't really done an introductory video. Uh, in fact, I should do one soon. But the basic gist of me, I'm 14 years old and live in the UK. My real name is Steven, though most people know me as Gerb Lover or White Spice. Uh, I am homeschooled because, you know, school sucks and everyone hates you. That's basically the gist of why I am. Of why I learn at home, because people can be pretty mean, you know what I mean? And I know that everyone has these problems, but hold up. just turning creature sounds down because those bees are loud but I'm homeschooled because I got bullied a lot at school I suffer from Tourette syndrome which basically causes you to twitch uncontrollably it's called tics um, you know it's the everyday problems that you'd have at school but amplified to an extent Anyway, actually about me, I like to play games, as you can guess. I'm into computers. In fact, I go to college after the summer holidays. And I'm hoping to take IT and business so that I can do game development or something similar once I'm older. And we're getting a little chunk of FPS lag here. And I believe that would be because I have... pump us up a little bit now we're just grabbing a bit of food and we're also going to get started on the spidery side of things but this is just sort of our setup video we're getting resources ready i can't believe he didn't go in that cocoon or web whatever you call it there's melons here i'll take them because melons aren't the easiest thing to get So, honestly, at the minute, I'm just looking for things to do while I wait for some string to generate a bit more. Because then we can web a cow or something and start getting some eggs ready. I think we need to build a home. I don't know. Somewhere for our spiders to go. Also, in this, hostile mobs aren't exactly hostile. You have a reputation with each kind of mob. You can do things like give them presents. Uh... 
if you want to make them your friends and they'll do things in return like helping you in fights giving you allies who follow you or you can kill them and they will hunt you down but that's the gist of reputations there was a cow in the floor well actually you know that so no point in me telling you that but you know what I'm like it's my first commentated video you can always be a little bit shy with those let's be honest who hasn't done YouTube with a commentary it can be a bit daunting at first because you think everything I do is on camera I need to be controlled I can always cut things out if anything happens but I try to keep the video smooth um, I've got a timer in the top left and my FPS if you're curious about those the timer is pretty useless because you're gonna be watching this on YouTube likely but I just have it there for me so I can tell how long I've been recording because a really old problem for me was always I didn't know how long I'd been recording for when I used Fraps because it doesn't have any of those features but then I switched over to XSplit and it's got a lot more compatibility and features and the other good thing about XSplit is I can always live stream if I'd ever like to I'm just looking for some stone there's some flies somehow swimming and not drowning but this is Minecraft. What are you going to expect? Some tinker ores. Here's some stone. I think we should set up camp in this little tunnel, maybe. Hmm. I think this would make a nice home. Yeah, you know what? This can be our temporary cave. Honestly, I think it's a cool idea to live in a cave anyway if we're a spider. I will make Tinker's tools in the future, it's just it's a bit annoying to set up. I'd rather dedicate an entire episode to that, and episode one isn't the one you dedicate to anything really. Uh, I've got journey map, just for convenience. Have we got any string? We do. We have enough to make one web. Um... I'm hoping to do more modded series in the future if this goes well but I feel like Spider Queen will last for a fair amount of time it's it's a very uh, what's the word it's a very elaborate mod there's not that many additions but still there's a lot you can do with it and of course you spice all of the Minecraft on top and you've got a decent thing okay we've got a cocooned cow and I'd actually like to eat this because then we can get more string and that's also how you get eggs oh wow you get loads of string and I hear wasps yep there's a ton of new mobs in this as well you've got wasps and flies like you saw beetles and there's a bee in my cave more than one bee in my cave mm, I really want to like put this on 1% because the bees are incredibly loud that's it we've got some steak oh oh of course I forgot you also generate string whenever you eat which is helpful we're getting some more webs because I want to try and web a few more cows and hopefully we can get an egg and maybe we could web a creeper or something too which would hopefully let us get a special type of spider because if you're not familiar uh, when you hatch a spider it will be very small and weak but if you place a cocooned animal near it, it'll be a bit stronger, like a regular spider. Or, if you use certain cocooned mobs, like say a creeper, then you can get special varieties of spiders. Like, I'll just stick with a creeper example. A cocooned creeper will hatch the spider into 
a boom spider which shoots explosive projectiles and they can get pretty cool things like tank spiders from a zombie there's a lot to do with this mod like I keep saying and that's actually the main reason why I installed journey map so I stop losing my home if you wonder what that flickering is, you get night vision in dark places as a spider and that's just the night vision flicking on and off as we head into daylight and out of daylight. You also have weakness at daytime which is a bit annoying but it's normally not a problem. It's only weakness 1 and 1.8 PvP against mobs, well PvE, isn't incredibly difficult. Uh, I'm trying to find some more mobs to cocoon. Uh, most of the new mobs you can cocoon, but I don't think flies, which is odd because that's what spiders eat for the most part. But, hmm. Oh yes, I forgot, I actually have dinner soon, but that's not for a little while we're about 11 minutes into the video according to my timer and that means I've done a decent amount I'm just gonna hopefully go mining and get some iron I'll probably end off the episode in a few minutes because I don't want it to be too short but I also don't want to be tired before my dinner because you know what that can be like We've got a waypoint as our home now, which is helpful, and I wonder if we can go mining anywhere. There's a creeper here. Normally I'm not too worried about being enemies with the creepers just because they're not a huge problem. You've broken your truce with the creepers. I'm not too bothered, honestly. They're creepers. All they can really do is explode, and I will actually be turning off mob griefing because it always annoys me. Totally not exploiting things, but... Then again, that's the... Yeah, I'm just going to quickly turn off mob griefing. Not because of creepers. I usually have it turned off when I play on a world anyway. I should have done that earlier. It's just the creepers flicked it into my mind. I remembered. Um, I really want to get an egg. But like I said, there's nothing really around to cocoon. Except some cows over this way. I swear that... Every single time you play Spider Queen, it's nothing but cows. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just me, but... I really want to know why this happens. Occasionally, when you're playing Minecraft, you get these, like, invincible mobs. Where all of your attacks just go right through them, like they don't have a hitbox. Or maybe it's because they don't have a hitbox. Some sort of glitch. Oh, actually, we will cocoon you. Can be a bit annoying when you miss those, but... Did he really tank that? He's on 1 HP. And a again... We need... If this cow doesn't go in a cocoon, we need to capture him and call him, like, the uncatchable cow. No, there he is. Um... I'm going to make some more. We need to make a spider bed once we've got more string. Because in this mod you cannot sleep in a regular bed. You have to build a spider bed which is made with wooden logs and webs. And it's a lot of webs. It's something like 50 webs and 25 oak logs. No, 20 oak logs because they go in a square. But I think we're going to eat these cows. If we get an egg, we can leave it to hatch. But that'll, for the most part, be the end of the episode. Did that really just despawn? No, it glitched down here. 
Still no spider eggs. They're normally easier to get than this. We're just having a bit of bad luck. From what I'm guessing. Skeletons are good allies because they're sort of support mobs when you're talking about having them on your side. It's cool how you can be able to stand there at the front fighting off monsters, enemies, and then you just have your skeletons in the back. Sniper support. There's some eggs. Hmm. So we're going to get home and we're going to put these eggs down and our cocoon creeper and hopefully we're going to end up with a boom spider and we'll also have a weak spider unless I quickly run back again grab one more cow. Uh, like I said if you want to play something like this then feel free to I've left a list of mods in the descriptions and also their authors just to make sure everyone downloads the right one I recommend you download them from the official websites because downloading mods from other places can be dangerous what isn't dangerous on the internet everything's got a risk to it but that's just the way why life works you know we take risks every day Alright, and we'll bring this cow home. So we're going to have one boom spider and then one regular spider. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, in this mod you can also find other spider queens and their armies. And sort of like have, I guess you'd call them battles, wars against them. But we're going to put one right there with a creeper. I want to dig that out a bit because I don't want the spider egg to I don't want the spider to suffocate when it hatches because that happens a lot oh my god it fell down here there's an ant nest here which I'd rather not deal with at the minute but we'll leave that there uh, oh my I seriously just ate that creeper Okay, you know what? We'll just settle down our cow for now. There's some zombies over this way, but I don't want to make them angry. In fact, you know what? I'll just catch one zombie, and we can make friends with them again later. We need to find some humans, because they drop things like brains, which you can use for... What's it called? You can use their brains and hearts and all that as presents for mobs. Uh, I didn't pick that up, did I? There it is, so we're going to have a tank spider, not a boom spider. And then, once we've laid those both down, we're going to end the episode, because I have dinner in probably two minutes. There we go, we've got our little spiders hatching. Before I quickly end the episode, I just want to make some fences, because one problem you can do have to deal with is when your spiders hatch, they don't follow you around like you'd expect. They can wander, and they wander in a second. I'm going to end the video in a sec, because I've got dinner, but we're just going to make these fences even my mum's calling me for dinner um, but it's fine it's not a problem and we've just got these okay that's gonna be it for this episode guys i hope you've enjoyed watching expect more spider queen in the very near future thank you for watching hopefully next episode we'll have a little army and goodbye